Welcome back. Today's character spotlight, who is video, is about everyone's favorite damaged and bandaged bounty hunter, Dengar. Now, Dengar first makes his appearance in Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. He is found in that assembly line of bounty hunters that Darth Vader seems walking across as he's trying to commission some people to go find and track down the Millennium Falcon. Dengar, like most of his exploits in his life as a bounty hunter, falls just short of his main aspirations and ultimately attacks the wrong people with IG-88. We see him briefly in episode 6 on Jabba's Palace. Uh, he does not make his way to the sail barge. Don't worry, Dengar's stories continue to be fruitful post uh, the original trilogy era. Of course, in Clone Wars, we see his animation debut in Season 4. He is part of the team with Asajj Ventress, C-21 Highsinger, Lotz Rodzi, and Boba Fett as they are attempting to transport a prisoner on Corzite. Of course, we know that everyone but Boba gets kicked off the barge, and Asajj ties up Boba in the chest and double-crosses everyone when she realizes that they're transporting a person that doesn't necessarily belong to the people they're transporting them to. Asajj... Look at you, still getting a reference here. You still have a heart. But this is about Dengar. And Dengar in Season 5 takes on Savage, Opress, and Darth Maul as he is working for the Huts. If you recall, when Darth Maul is kind of taking over as a crime syndicate leader, that's another point in time where Dengar found himself just a bit outmatched. We know he's pretty low on the rung in terms of elite bounty hunters. And, of course, is no match for, you know, a Sith a former Sith apprentice, I guess we could still call him a Sith, and, you know, his brother, who is, you know, WWE Street Fighter Extreme. Um, I didn't know that he was born Corellian and was a swoop racer before his Benny 100 days, so thank you to the reference book Hive of Scum and Villainy. Appreciate you all for your work. Dingar is more fleshed out in the comics. We see him in several com comics from the Bounty Hunters comics run, where he goes on this wild chase for frozen and carbonite Han Solo. He's double-crossing people. He's getting double-crossed and falling up just a little bit short. And the Target Vader comics, he's double-crossing Darth Vader himself, the one that he was actually hired to work for to find Dr. Afra. Another moment where Dingar may have made a choice not so smart. His biggest role in the comics, though, is in the main Star Wars run, where, as our good friend Josh here at Star Wars News Net put in his character spotlight article for Dengar this week, that uh, he attempts to collect Jabba's bounty on Han Solo by capturing Chewbacca on Narshada. Ultimately, he gets thrown off a building. Attempts seem to summarize Dingar's time as a bounty hunter. He was always seeming to fall short of everything that he really wanted, except for, you know, one thing. And that was making sure he always stayed a bounty hunter. So if you go read Josh's article on Newsnet, he gets into this a little bit more in depth. But we can kind of piece the puzzle together that... The character that we know as Ringar Dang from The Rise of Skywalker and the Visual Dictionary is definitely Dengar. Even the Star Wars Comics Adventures number nine refers to Rothgar as Dengar. And it makes sense when you know that Dengar underwent this comprehensive cybernetic surgery uh, towards, you know, a latter part of his life to ensure he could keep up with bounty hunters to where he was basically not even recognizable anymore. Well, we can probably assume that Rothgar Ding is, in fact, Dingar. But that is not everything in the Dingar story. Go check out Joss's article because one of the most fascinating parts about Dingar is his weird love story from Legends that actually gets brought into canon, but also the way it turns out is pretty remarkable. And honestly, classic Dingar. The article can be found in the description below. This is this week's character spotlight. We'll be back with you next week on Star Wars Newsnet for another character spotlight. Don't hold me to this. I think we're doing Admiral Akbar next week. So thank the force. We'll be back next week. See you guys.